Some people have more patches and DLCs, some have less. Well, we definitely have more. And here's one of the new DLCs I've brought along today. The first DLC on our roadmap is From the Ashes. If we have a look at the map, we're in the middle of the forest, not far from Przybyslavice. If you remember, that's the place where there was the bandit camp and where we had the boss fight against Runt in the church tower. Compared to then, the map now looks a little bit different. So this is what happens in the DLC. Lord Divish, the ruler of the area who gave you the title of bailiff, says, hey, you've done a great job. Now help me rebuild the village. As such, it's perhaps a little confusing to call this a DLC because that sounds like an extra that's added on separately. In the case of From the Ashes, it's much more like a huge extension to the vanilla game, the normal Kingdom Come, because it's integrated into the main quest. You simply arrive at this point naturally, thanks to the DLC, and play on from there. In From the Ashes, you earn bonuses by helping to rebuild the village, and these will help you later on. And there are lots more missions and gameplay, of course. Marius here explains to us how this all works. He tells us that manpower is costly and that there's a chest that we're meant to fill with money. I'll just show you that quickly. Here's the chest, and this will be the site of our first town hall. But just to be clear, From the Ashes is not a city builder. It's not about deciding whether you want to build a tavern here or a bridge over there. Rather, it's like a finance management system. You tell Marius what you want him to build and when, these buildings will then generate money or cost you money. During the DLC, the challenge is to keep this in balance until you come to the point when the village generates income for you. As the game progresses, these slots are filled up, showing you all the buildings you've built. And this book here is basically your almanac, your doomsday book, which forms the basis of the whole DLC. On the left, we see an overview of the buildings we already have. A provisional town hall costs 75 groschen a day. The workers' quarters costs 25 groschen a day. Down here we see a summary. That means every day at a specific time around 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning, 100 groschen need to be in the chest. Otherwise, you have a problem. If you mess things up too much in the village or lose too much reputation, then Lord Divish, who gave you the village in the first place, can come and say, hey, Henry, not good and then he takes away your title and your village and you lose the DLC. As you can see, you can also develop various things. For instance, from a specific time, you can have your own alchemy table in the town hall, meaning you don't ever need to look for a laboratory elsewhere in the world because you have your very own one in the village. And that's the whole point of the DLC. It's your own place, your home, your harbor, your place to go, the place you want to invest in. A few days later, the woodcutter is there, and that's our first building. New people come to the village. I've now reloaded a saved game. As we can see, things are a bit different now. This is what it looks like with an upgraded town hall. We've got a building with chickens here now, and that's the church when it's been completely developed. We hope that players will develop a strong connection to this village because it is indeed your place, your home, your church, your laboratory, your town hall your swordsmith, and so forth. All the buildings you erect here will generate and produce unique things for you. Produce is perhaps the wrong word. Stables, for example, give you the possibility of buying new horses that you can't find anywhere else. We're now building a guardroom. And a guardroom is cool because it enables you to build a small arena to fight in, which is the only place in the entire game where you can train with all weapon types, even your bare fists. So. That's it, our first DLC, From the Ashes.